Hey everybody, uh, I'm back and I'm here to stay. Uh, I had some life stuff I needed to take care of. Um, a little TMI, but uh, I joined the army recently and wish me luck on that. Uh, I had to pay off some of my college loans and debts and I figured this is the best way that I could do it and uh, keep sane. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, that's what I've been up to. I've been squaring away my stuff and my schedule and getting everything reevaluated re and resituated. Uh, I'd like to personally thank you guys uh, for all the comments and emails and craziness that I've been getting literally like every other day. Like you guys send me stuff and uh, stuff like, dude, you promised tutorials like every day and now, you, you know, you're not doing anything. So finally I cracked and uh, I figured I'd put something out right now and get something out there for you guys because I owe it to all the people that have subscribed to my stuff and, you know, I'm glad to do them if I keep getting support. So, yeah, thank you. And uh, I, what I'm going to do today, though, is show you guys tools and some plugins and websites that I've used in the past that have helped me and saved a, a lot of time. And to me, that's one of the biggest things in this industry is, you know, aside from producing good quality work and listening to your clients is getting things done fast. Time is money. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's get right to it. I'm going to go to some random website here. The first tool that we as web designers need, obviously, is Firefox. Um, so get the Firefox browser. The reason why is because you can have access to... Wow, this is kind of a boring site. You have access to um, all sorts of different plugins and tools that you can utilize at any time, and you just download them from tools, go to add ons, search your plugins, and bang. Uh, the first one that I have is a plugin, and it's called the Web Developer uh, Plugin. And basically, what you do is you download it, and you get this bar here. And I'm going to zoom in on this once I export. You get this bar here basically uh, gives you access to anything you might need. You, it's, this is really useful for when you take over a site or when you have to maintain a large site or figure out what you've done in the past, etc, etc, etc. You can disable images and the CSS and you can put a ruler out there to see like what your dimensions are. I mean there's a lot of uses for this thing. I mean you have access to all kinds of good links that you need on the fly. Very important. That's why I put it at the top of the list actually because I find that it's the most important tool of all so if anything get that at least that's something I use all the time uh, the next tool and forgive me I have to access the list a couple times here because I have a lot of tools uh, firebug basically what you do with firebug is you get this little icon down here click it and then you can start tweaking um, you can start tweaking somebody's website on the fly and your browser Firefox will render it for you like right there so for example this guy's little silver text here we have access to it and we could simply go, you know, we could change the color right here with no worries whatsoever. So I changed everything to black. And right there on the fly, you can see how it looks. You can imagine how useful this would be when you have a lot of divisions or a lot of different uh, windows within your website or tables within your website or whatever you're using to um, set up your website. You can access it and see the changes right there. You don't have to change the code, refresh the page change the code and keep doing all that. It's done right there on the fly. So it's huge. It's a good help. Uh, next up on the list, I have Fire FTP. Now this is a great tool because, see, the, the FTP or File Transfer Protocol, you need that to get your local files up onto your server. Well, this keeps your, well, keeps your FTP client right within your browser. And you're going to find a lot of things I do is to keep programs within your browser so you don't have to do them in other goofy ways. Remember, we're trying to save time. So here we have Fire FTP. You drag from your local host to your server, which you connect to right there on the fly. Just drag, drop, and then it's there. And that, you'll see, is a huge help. Next, I have YSlow. What YSlow is, and I don't believe TonyC.com's site is going to be very slow, but... Basically, what YSlow does is it says, hey, you know, your site's good, but you can work on this. And then it gives you little tips. And these things like add expires headers, stuff like that, it'll tell you how to do it. And if you don't know how to do it, you can always Google that or you can find other ways to to um, 
to make things a little bit more efficient on your page. Because that's all YSlow is doing is just giving you pointers, tips, just things that might speed up the loading time for everybody, you know, generally speaking. So yeah, another great tool. All right, dimdim.com is the first website I have here. Uh, let me open up a new tab. All right, the reason why I put this on here is a client brought this to my attention, and I think it has some potential. I've used it once or twice. It works great. Basically, what you get to do is you get to set up a live meeting right from your computer to your client's computer. And this is a, this is a good tool for, for clients that aren't too Skype savvy because it's a browser-based uh, meeting. And the other cool thing is you could show your screen on the fly. They don't need a login or anything like that. You give them an email, they join, bang, they're in. Uh, it's a great tool. Check it out. Uh, you saw it here first. Remember that. <laughs> And, um, yeah, next we have Skype. Obviously, if you're familiar with Skype at all, you know that, um, <clears throat> you know that Skype is a voice chat program or a video chat program. And this is another thing that clients are becoming a bit more familiar with is, you know, doing these meetings over the phone or over the internet or things like that because you need to save time. And they want to save time too, trust me. Suggesting stuff like this to them, they're not going to take offense to it. They're not going to think that you don't want to meet with them publicly. Obviously, if they prefer public meetings, do it. But Skype is good. And they'll they'll appreciate the, uh, the time savings. <laughs> and next, we have Colorzilla. Okay, you may not think this is much, but having this little eyedropper tool in your browser so that you can click and get the colors from websites so essential like it's such a pain to figure out colors on more like complex designs or just stuff that you've done so that you can add on to your design it's so hard to get the color figured out without saving a picture putting it into Photoshop again this is a huge time saver and you'll see once you download something like Colorzilla how much it actually helps so yeah pulling colors right from your browser right there actively without wasting time. It's huge. Fangs, all right. What Fangs does, you get access to what your site would look like to somebody who can't see. So a blind person using a screen reader, you get what they're seeing. And this is nice because, and remember when I talked about standards, you want to be standards compliant. You want everybody to view your site who can view it. You want to be fair to everybody. That's important in the web, and that's the direction the web will be going once it gets more and more under control and more and more understood so you should be making headway in that as well so this is how I do it you just read your sh with your little um, fangs tool here and you can see exactly what a blind person will be seeing if <laughs> if they had is that a bad joke is that a bad taste I hope not if <laughs> if they were on your site and lastly um, this is just another little quick addition to your um, your arsenal of uh, plugins and yeah, sorry if I didn't make it clear. Things like Fangs, Abduction, everything that I've shown you, minus the websites, those are all plugins. These are all Firefox plugins. So just to make sure that we're on the same page, I'm not downloading programs or anything like that. All this stuff is free. Um, and lastly, we have Abduction. Basically, what you do with Abduction is you can go right click and you can save the page as an image. May not think this is much now, but try using Firefox save page as an image. It is a joke. It does not work. So get abduction and get your pages printed out the right way, the way that they're supposed to look, and then you can hand them off to your clients without having to put it live on a server or anything like that. So yeah, uh, I'm going to, again, rush the ending here because YouTube's time limit. Uh, thanks for the support, guys. Thanks for stopping in and visiting my tutorials. I'm going to bring more out to you. Keep suggesting, and I'll be right here. Uh, I hope those tools help you guys out. And uh, have fun designing. Take care. Bye.